transport and cultural centre of the country, London is located in South East England. It is located about 50 miles northeast of the Black Sea on the River Thames. By 1800, London's population had already exceeded 1 million. A century later, it was 6.5 million. London has been a large population for 2,000 years. Londinium was founded by the Romans. According to the 2011 census, 44.9% of Londoners were ethnically white British. Other major ethnic groups included Asians, who made up 20.9% of the city's population, and Blacks, who made up 15.6%. These figures show that London is one of the most diverse cities in the world and it is believed that more than 300 languages are spoken in the city today. In 2013, the city received 16.8 million tourists. London is 11 meters above sea level. Residents of London are known as Londoners. Londoners enjoy warm summers followed by mild winters and can expect an annual temperature of 14 degrees Celsius. London is one of the most diverse cities in the world with over 300 languages spoken including Bengali, Gujarati, Punjabi, Cantonese, Mandarin and Hokkien. The Great Plague of 1665-1666 killed about 25 million people, a third of the entire population of Europe in the 15th century. The pound is the official currency here. London is one of the top tourist destinations in the world with around 20.42 million international tourists in 2018. London is one of the richest cities in the world with more than 80 billionaires. In fact, London has more billionaires than any other city in the world and over 80% of all UK billionaires live in London. London black tech drivers have to pass a test before they can get their license. It is called London Knowledge and is reputed to take three to four years to learn. It was introduced in 1865 and required Chibi Cross to learn all the streets and signs within a six-mile radius of Charing Cross. At Harrods, the world-famous luxury Knightsbridge department store, if you have the money, you can buy almost anything. London has four UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Tower of London, Westminster Abbey, Palace of Westminster, Houses of Parliament, and St. Margaret's Church. London is also famous for some other top sites, including Big Ben, the London Eye, and St. Paul's Cathedral. London has an amazing 140 museums specializing in art, history, science, advertising, medicine, toys, and even cartoons. Tower Bridge took eight years to build, starting in 1886 and ending in 1894. Tower Bridge has two high-level walkways to enable pedestrians to cross the bridge. But after falling into disrepute, they joined another of the city's notorious red light districts. The walkway was closed in 1910. But they are part of the bridge exhibit today, so they are open to the public. The Tower of London dates back to the time of William the Conqueror. King William planned to build the tower after his victory over Harold at the Battle of Hastings in 1066. The king built the tower to help fortify himself against the angry populace. The Tower of London currently serves as a museum. In fact, that's where you'll be able to see the world-famous crown jewel from afar. More people visit the London Eye than any other attraction in the UK. It welcomes 3.75 million visitors every year. Its length is about 443 feet or 135 meters. When the London Eye officially opened to the public in March 2000, it made a maiden voyage on New Year's Eve 1999. Only VIPs had access to the first opening. On each spin, the London Eye can carry up to 800 people. It's also a fairly stable ride. You can fit up to 25 people in each capsule which weighs 10 tons. The London Underground opened in 1863, becoming the first underground railway train in the world. His first journey was a 3.5-mile journey from Paddington to Farringdon Station. The Metropolitan Railway paid for the London Underground. It was so popular that, within six months, 26,000 people were riding it every single day. In 1987, smoking was temporarily banned in stations and trains. When a discarded matchbox ignited a fire at King's Cross that claimed the lives of 51 people, what began after a six-month trial ban became permanent. The Metropolitan Line, the first line to open in 1863, is also the oldest underground line in the world. The man responsible for the underground font is Edward Johnston. It debuted in 1916 and is still in use today. The London Underground has 11 lines and is 249 miles long of which only 45% is underground. 
The tube has 4,100 trains connecting 270 stations. 1.35 billion people use it every single year. Each train travels 114,500 miles annually. The average speed of each train is 33 kilometers per hour. But some trains, the fastest, can exceed 60 miles per hour. London Zoo hosted the world's first dog show in the 1840s. It was opened in 1828 by the Zoological Society, ZSL, in London. In 2000, the scene in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone where Harry talks to the Burmese dragon was filmed in the zoo's Black Mumba enclosure. In 2005, the zoo presented an exhibit called Human Zoo for four days, during which eight people were on display. The idea was to show the nature of man as an animal and highlight the impact of people on the animal world. In 2006, 950 exotic fish and corals were seized by customs officers at Heathrow Airport. They were rescued by London Zoo and reintroduced in the zoo's aquarium. London Zoo is closed only one day a year, Christmas Day. Big Ben isn't the name of the clock or the tower, it's the name of the famous bell inside the structure. The clock tower itself is actually known as the Elizabeth Tower, earning its name for the Queen's Jubilee in 2012. The bell weighs less than 14 tons and is 7.2 feet or 2.2 meters in length. The tower itself stands an astonishing 315 feet, 96 meters. The construction of the Elizabeth Tower suffered some delays but was finally completed in 1859. Big Ben has actually been silent since summer 2017. This is due to the ongoing construction work, which will be completed soon. In fact, the bell is thought to begin its chimes once again in 2021. Buckingham Palace is famous for being the focal point during the independence movement of 1914. The palace has 775 different rooms. Of these, only 52 are for royal bedrooms, of which 188 are used by staff. There are also nearly 100 offices and a staggering 78 different bathrooms. During World War I, Buckingham Palace was involved in the rationing effort on the orders of King George V. You can drive on the right side of the road, which is the wrong side of the road. The most terrible event in London's history was the Great Fire of 1666. A large part of the city was engulfed in flames as over 70. 000 London homes were completely destroyed by the fire. However, despite its devastating impact, the horrific event resulted in only six confirmed deaths. Many say the death toll is actually higher but the fire destroyed everything, including the bodies. There is a cereal cafe in London that serves more than 100 varieties of cereals from different parts of the world. London is the capital city of the United Kingdom and is one of the most diverse and cosmopolitan cities in the world. It is home to a population of over 8 million people, with a rich mix of cultures and backgrounds. The city's residents, known as Londoners, come from various ethnicities and speak a multitude of languages, making it a vibrant and multicultural metropolis. London boasts a thriving cultural scene with a plethora of museums, art galleries, theaters, and music venues. Some of the iconic cultural institutions include the British Museum, the Tate Modern, the Victoria and Albert Museum, and the National Gallery. The West End is famous for its numerous theaters, showcasing a wide range of plays, musicals, and performances. Additionally, London hosts various cultural events, festivals, and celebrations throughout the year, reflecting its diverse heritage. London is governed by the Greater London Authority (GLA), consisting of the Mayor of London and the London Assembly. The mayor serves as the city's executive, responsible for strategic planning, transport, policing, and other key functions. London is divided into boroughs, each with its local council responsible for delivering services and representing the interests of the local community. London is a major global financial and business hub, housing the headquarters of numerous multinational corporations, financial institutions, and law firms. The city's economy is diverse and includes industries like finance, technology, tourism, creative arts, and healthcare. The London Stock Exchange is one of the world's largest stock exchanges and plays a crucial role in global financial markets. London is renowned for its world-class educational institutions. 
The city is home to prestigious universities like Imperial College London, University College London, UCL, London School of Economics and Political Science, LSE, and King's College London. These universities attract students from around the world and contribute significantly to research and innovation. The River Thames runs through London, dividing the city into north and south. It is also crossed by several iconic bridges, such as Tower Bridge and London Bridge. London is famous for its red double-decker buses and black cabs. The London Eye, a giant ferris wheel on the south bank, offers panoramic views of the city skyline. The Tower of London, a historic castle on the north bank of the River Thames, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Buckingham Palace serves as the official residence of the British monarch and is a popular tourist attraction. London hosted the Summer Olympics in 2012, leaving a significant legacy of sports facilities and infrastructure.